Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Sim UK. This is Football Manager 2021. Ah, oh, pre-planned for this, obviously. Um, so we're doing quite well. We are doing quite well. We're three games into the season. We got a goal difference of 11. Not a bad start. Undefeated so far. And uh, the best news of all, Tottenham are in 15. I'm sorry, but it's true. Uh, so Pierre Emerick Aubameyang has got his seven goals. Basically, lots of stuff about Pepe Emerick Aubameyang, John Bostock, which if you haven't been watching this the series, uh, he's um, in real life he's a player that's ventured from club to club to club to club to club. And um, I was looking for a very cheap, uh, well, a completely free transfer, and John Bostock came up. And I've got to say he has done wonders for us so far. He's playing in the middle. Um, so he's like a defensive midfielder, he's like um, a defensive playmaker, if you will. He's got a decent shot on him, he's got good pace, he's got good strength. He's really been a very good player. He's appeared in Player of the Week a couple of times. And uh, so far, he is proving to be a very, very wise uh, purchase, I guess. Doing very well for us. Best pass completion, Hector Bellerin with a pass rate of 94%. We have got some good players here. The board are quite happy with us. C+, plus, which isn't great. No noticeable criticisms, which is good. I've got a few areas that I think we need to work on. The defence... I didn't want that pen anyway. The defence uh, is... It needs some work. It needs some tweaking. Um, I think we've shown that we've got some frailty there. I've also upset uh, Kalizniak. Um, he's he is so angry with me right now and he's making all the other players angry with me as well so we've got a bit of a mutiny in the back that I've got to deal with um, in addition to that other than Pierre Emerick Aubameyang we don't have a prolific center forward although Nicolas Pepe out on the right wing scored a hat trick in his first game before he got injured so he's potentially uh, going to assist us there but if Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is ever out for any reason, touch wood, it doesn't happen, uh, we've got big problems. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting month. And we're just, we've just finished the end of September, so we're starting October 2020. So we've almost caught up with ourselves in real-world dates. But, um, yeah, let me know. Please let me know in the comments what you think of the series so far. Any improvements you think I can make? Um, I'm not sure whether to include every game or just the big games or highlights. I, I don't know what's best for you guys because obviously there's a lot going on, a lot of data, a lot of details, and I don't want to overwhelm you. So uh, please do let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the series so far. Give me some feedback, some input, and uh, I'll be reading and taking it all on board. So thank you so much. Right. I best get going. Let's get started. So we've just got the monthly report in for September. It's looking pretty good. Our passing isn't fantastic, but we are leaps and bounds ahead of everybody uh, on everything else. On the average, that is. We're, we're definitely way ahead, which is good. Defensively, um, our statistics actually look really good. We're regarded as busy and impenetrable, which is not how I feel about the defence, but that's what the stats are telling us. The shot map, um, we, our XG total is 6.98. We've got 13 goals. Now, we had two extremely good games, and there's, we've only played three, so this is very early days. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're shooting fairly well, and our attacking proficiency efficiency um, makes us aggressive and clinical, which is uh, good to hear. It's definitely a good start. And Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has been named September's English Premier League Division Player of the Month. Mohamed Salah was second, and Bruno Fernandes for Manchester United uh, in third, which is quite interesting. So yeah, very nice. And Saka, Bukayu Saka out on the left wing, has scooped up the English Premier League's Young Player of the Month award. Followed by Mason Mount in Chelsea and Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. Fantastic. And uh, Liverpool's Jurgen Klopp scooped September's English Premier League Division Manager of the Month 
and we're in second, which kind of makes sense because we're second in the league. Manchester United are in third. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Now, this is interesting. More details have been announced regarding the United Kingdom leaving the European Union. From Friday the 1st of January 2021, British leagues with registered squads will use a 17 foreign player limit. A new work permit system will apply to foreign players, foreign players signing for a club from foreign teams. Or whatever that says, because it's under my camera, I'm making it up. Domestic under-21 players are automatically eligible to play in all matches. European Union players already playing in these nations will be given special status to allow them to be treated as non-foreign until Monday 1st of January 2024, on which date they will require a work permit if they haven't gained citizenship by then. As part of the breakaway, players from Ireland will now be classed as foreigners to the, national, to the nations leaving the European Union. Wow. That's going to mix things up a little bit down the line, isn't it? So uh, we got the monthly manager performance summary and they're very pleased with our 6-0, 5-0 victories over Palace and Fulham. Pleased with my level of support in the squad. So Klesniak hasn't uh, created a full-on mutiny yet. Um, also, the fans appreciate the entertaining football played by the club of late, which is great to hear. And the fans are satisfied with my transfers so far. So... All going rather well, which is great. Okay, pre-match, uh, we're playing Everton next, and uh, let's go do the conference, the press conference. The transfer window slams shut in just a few days. Are you still looking to do business in that time? Uh, I won't be discussing any transfer stories today. These things can happen very quickly, so I wouldn't rule anything out. Gabriel has a number of standout attributes and many people feel they could make the difference against Everton. Do you share those sentiments? Possibly. You could make the same sort of argument for everyone in the squad, couldn't you? A nice, a nice short one. Neutral. Good. Everyone's indifferent. <laughs> that is absolutely fine with me. Okay, so we've got Rapid Vienna, Antwerp and Rangers. Ooh, in the Euro Cup. That could be interesting. Arsenal handed easy group, they say. I'm not so sure about that. Emile Smith-Rowe, excellent training. I think he deserves a game today, Emile Smith-Rowe. Alexandre Pato, come on, dude. What is going on here, my man? I'm not happy about this. Criticise, yeah. Put my arm around in. Okay. You're right. I've not been at my best, really. If that's everything covered, I'll see you later. All right, good. So he took it on the chin. Good man. Look at this. Saka, Leno. Brilliant. Good training sessions. Yep, you saw that right. I'm dropping Mesut Ozil. And instead I'll be including Nelson or Emile Smith-Rowe. I'm going to go for Emile Smith-Rowe. I want to kind of mould him into the replacement uh, for Mesut Ozil. That's, that's the thought process behind that. Whoops. Scary. Okay, so El Nenny's upset because I left him out of the Euro squad. I'm concerned about being left out of the Euro Cup squad, but it means a lot that you've come to speak to me. There's no need to worry about it. Thanks, boss. Oh, okay, he's chuffed. Good. His morale's a bit down, but that's okay. Okay, we've got the Euro Cup press conference. Let's attend. What is your immediate reaction to the Euro Cup draw? I'm looking forward to it. We're up against some good teams, but we certainly fancy our chances. Where do you think you'll finish? I reckon we've got a good chance of topping the group. The draw for the Euro Cup has been rather kind to Arsenal, matching your side against Sport Club Rapid Vienna, Antwerp FC and Rangers. Is that an assessment you agree with? I agree that the draw could have been a lot harder, but the other teams still deserve our respect. Tottenham Hotspur, Arsenal and Leicester City are the teams representing England in the competition this season. How do you rate the chances of an English winner? You can make a case for any of us winning it, so I think it's pretty likely. I'm only concerned about whether Arsenal can win it. Yeah, good. Elsewhere, Tottenham have drawn against Zora Luhansda, Losk, Lille and PSV Eindhoven. How do you rate their chances? I'm only here to talk about Arsenal. 
Would you agree that Rangers are your toughest opponents? They're a great team and it'll be as tough a fixture as we could have had. Cool. That went okay. Irish lad, Nazid Ungongbo. Not a particularly Irish sounding name, but whatever. Um, just over six foot. Uh, pace of 15. Very interesting player. Uh, I definitely want to follow this lad. Yeah, he looks very interesting. Hey, tactical meeting. Um, hey, defend with more width. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but okay. Uh, right, let's jump in. Team selection. So, Mesut Ozil, I'm going to drop you. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring Smith Rowe on. And you're going to show us how amazing you are. Now, party in the center there. You were a bit nervous in the last game, so I think I'm going to swap you out for El Nenny. And in fact, I think I might swap Ozil completely for Saka. Lacazette on the right. We've got Nikita to cover. We've got Will Ian for a central attacking player. We've also got Nelson. That might be too much. Oh, what? So I'm going to drop Nelson for Pepe. I want to give Pepe a bit of a run out, but he's not 100% fit. Neither is Lacazette. So between the two of them, they should last the entire, the entire game. Maitland Niles actually isn't fit either. I think I might go Cedric. Klesniak and I are not getting on. So we'll drop Xhaka in for Maitland Niles. And I think that's the team we're going with today. I think that should do it. Formation could expose us at the back. The team instruction shorter passing doesn't suit us. Granite Xhaka. He's got, he's got special passing commands i don't understand why he's constantly complaining about that to be honest with you uh it's important to mark dominic calvert lewin tightly to improve our chances of winning yeah, yeah, yeah. right let's get gened up I expect a win today bit of motivation mohammed el nenny's unsure that's not good because he's holding the middle for us can you tell us why Mesut Ozil isn't involved today? Um, he didn't look sharp in training with others chomping at the, at the bit to play. Not chomping at the bit, not champing, chomping at the bit to play. I felt a change was needed here. That's right, isn't it? Chomping at the bit? Chomping at the bit? I don't think that. Can you tell us why you've opted for Emil Smith Rowe as his replacement? Um, I have complete faith in him to do a job for the team to play the standards we expect of our players. Big game for him today, Neil Smith Rowe. Let's hope he does well. Quiet game. Right, what's going on here then? Oh, what on Lacazette? Aubameyang, can he do it from distance? It's a big ask. Oh, ho, ho, ho. fantastic effort. We get a corner from that. Saka, good cross, easily cleared, but Saka's back on it. Smith Rowe, here he is, the youngster, Gabriel. Not much happened from that, but we're back in the mix. El Nenny's on the ball. Referee's getting in the way. Lacazette, Bostock, great ball from Bostock to Bellerin. What a goal! Hector Bellerin having a fantastic season so far. I think uh, I think vice captain is a, is a great role for him. Look at this though, Lacazette playing really well today. Bostock with another assist. He has just been so good for us this season. So happy with the purchase of Bostock. But I really I really didn't think he was going to become first team quite so quickly. Here here come uh, here come Everton, not wanting to get caught out good cross in oh that is a good goal defensively we have frailties we really do 
And that's quite frustrating. Well worked by Everton, but I think the majority of that has to be poor defending. Be nice to go in a goal up at half time. Bellerin, good run. El Nenny. Oh, what's he doing? He's oh he's actually making a good run there, El Nenny. What can he do with it? Free kick. Or penalty. <coughs> oh a VAR moment. Look at this. I think I've got some tea leaves stuck in my throat. Penalty review. Yes or no? Ah, no penalty. Free kick then. It'd be nice if we could score from here. Who's taking the free kick? Bostock. Ooh, not a bad one. Oh no, but here come Everton on a very, very promising looking counter-attack. Straight past the defence. Thankfully it hasn't turned into anything. Woo! Okay, so the XG is in our favour. We're the better team here. Come on. A little bit of a motivation for Emil Smith Rowe. And there's not really much I want to do. <coughs> we have got subs and they will be used. Gabriel intercepts Bostock. Oh, nearly a great ball to Saka, but here come Everton. They've now got the... Oh no, El Nenny's in there. El Nenny proving that he's worth to play and he's got him he's got clear can he get it across he's found Saka Saka great cross in nobody there and here come Everton on a very fast counter now and Richarlson has already done well today he's done very well here thankfully Leno is equal to that shot Lacazette and Smith Rowe both playing fantastically well today. Very happy with what I'm seeing. El Nenny. That's a good ball to Bostock. El Nenny again. Bostock again. Smith Rowe. Saka. Abamyang. Interesting uh, free kick from Smith Rowe there. I'm going to have to look at my free kick situation and see why he's taking them. Oh no! Everton have taken the lead. That's a big problem. Right, we need to go attacking. You can see here, down the, again, down the left wing. Just big gaps everywhere. All right. We're going to have to do something amazing here. Now, Emil Smith-Rowe is playing fantastic. So's Lacazette, but we do need a goal here. Emil Smith-Rowe is playing okay and he's motivated, but I'm going to bring on Will I Am just for, if, if for no other reason than for the free kick option that he brings us. And I think I'm going to stick with that. Saka, I think, is okay. Right, let's get motivated. Come on. We need to turn this game around in 20 minutes. The clearance. Here comes Saka. Bit of space, bit of pace. What can he do? He's he's outrun he's outrun the fullback, but that was not a good cross. And El Nenny's there. That's a great ball. Ah, oh, no, Pickford is too quick off his line. He's cutting that out. Bellerin does well there. Pepe haven't seen much of him since the first game of the season. This is what he does. Powerful run. Powerful attacking run. And he's done his man. He's in the box. Maybe a little bit rusty. Hasn't played for a while. And here come Everton again. Richarlson. He's absolutely dominating us down that left wing. Straight through and into Leno's hands again. Not good. Bostock. Getting beaten for a change. Oh, and that could have been another one there. Right, let's go very attacking. And let's go slightly more direct. That came off the crossbar. Oh, Richardson is off, which is good for us. Five minutes left. Oh, this is not looking good. 
I need a super sub here, Pato. Swap Saka out. Five minutes to turn this game around. Turn a disaster into a band-aid. El Nenny losing out. He's been playing so well this game. Just absolutely falling apart there. Pepe. Aubameyang. Come on. Final second. Yes. Fantastic. Wow. So it was Pepe down the right wing. Linking up with Aubameyang. That is a fantastic goal. We certainly haven't looked overly convincing in this game but well, that is a superb finish can we sneak a winner in the final minutes is it humanly possible this would definitely uh Aubameyang's on it he's beaten his man oh puts it wide with two minutes to go it's not over yet Pickford with the goal kick David Luiz Bustock Will I Ann Got some quality on the pitch now. Pepe. Pepe to Aubameyang. He's got space and went for the cross unbelievably. And now Gomez picks it up in the middle of the park. And he's pushing hard. And they've got, they've got numbers. One minute and five seconds left. Is there enough time? We're into extra time. Is there any chance? Well, 2-2. Two, two, away from home. Aubameyang played fantastic, Pepe played fantastic, Lacazette played fantastic, Emil Smith-Rowe I thought was fantastic, Bostock, Bellerin, we played really well, Everton <coughs> just beat us, I've got tea leaves in my throat, I'm dying here, ah, I'm not happy with your performance out there, no, I'm actually going to say you're unlucky today, got a bit of motivation out of Lacazette, Saka, and Leno, I, th I think we played well, we just didn't get the result. Yeah, Emmerich Aubameyang was the saviour for your side there, grabbing a dramatic late equaliser. It must have been a massive relief for you to see that one go in. Yeah, just a little bit. Football is about moments like that, it was something special. A bit of a collector's item today, a goal from Hector Bellerin. How pleased were you to see him score that one? He's been working hard to improve on that part of his game, so it's great to see it pay off. What's the thinking behind your tactical approach? Um, this is how I believe football should be pay played. I do it for the same reason I do everything else. We are about winning. Nice. So not the best result today, but um, does kind of highlight the areas that I still think we need to work on. And we'll see. We'll see what we can do about that. So, uh, interesting thing I've just discovered, Bostock actually prefers to play on the left-hand side of a central midfield uh, duo, and Cabellos likes to play on the right. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to try these guys out together and see how they do. Cabellos may be box-to-box, -box, deep lying playmaker in support role. Yeah, I think that's perfect for us. My contract is no longer appropriate for a player of my current standing and I want to talk about a new deal. If you think, think you're worth as much as some of the other players in the squad, you've got to prove it. Do something that separates you from the rest of the pack. Now he's offended. I'm disappointed by that response. I think I've already done, I've already more than demonstrated how much I deserve this new deal. What more do I need to do? in a disarming manner as a midfielder it's crucial that you to keep as a midfielder it's crucial that you keep hold of the ball games are won and lost on possession these days and your pass completion hasn't been anywhere near as good as it needs to be for you to stay in the side i'll make myself perfectly clear either we discuss a new deal or i go public with my dissatisfaction i'm going to pound my fist I'm going to pound my fist and say I won't be intimidated here. There will be no new contract for you right now. Now he's angry. You haven't heard the last of this. I'm not at all happy with your handling of my request and I'm going to make sure my teammates and the media know exactly how I feel. Yeah, good for you, mate. 